everyone, this is SF Ninja, and today this is a special episode. No, we're not on a motorcycle. We're on a pair of skis. But I figure this counts as it's first person, and we're moving at something faster than a walking pace. Barely right now, though. So, uh, it's pretty rare. A sunny day at Whistler like this just happened to time perfectly. So only I've got two days to be here. So we got some spectacular scenery here. It's pretty lucky today. So I guess I'll talk a bit about my uh, skiing experience. Started when I was five. Crashed when I was seven. That fractured my left shin, put me in a cast for a few months. After that, I was sufficiently traumatized by the experience that I never really quite got fully back to normal, I guess, as far as skiing was concerned. Although these days I'm a lot better about it. Well, that sounds kind of funny. But anyway. No, but at the time, no, it was just after the accident, I really didn't feel like skiing at the time. But anyway, so finally after that, my dad thought, okay, maybe we should put you into some lessons instead of me teaching you all the wrong things. And uh, the ski instructors here are pretty good. And I learned basically two important things. One is bend your knees. And second is, keep your hands out in front of you. Don't let your hands or arms trail behind. As you go through a turn, just keep your hands out in front at all times. I think looking where you want to go doesn't hurt either, kind of like motorcycling. And, uh... Yeah, so anyway, I've got these, uh, oh, I had to go out and get these new skis and boots, because uh, my dad apparently uh, gave away or threw away or otherwise disposed of my own skis and boots, since they were all mixed in with a bunch of other skis and boots that were left there by various guests from Japan. Like what happens is that there's these uh, rich kids from Japan who show up every now and again, and uh, I guess they're the kids of various people my dad has worked for or worked with. And they'll ditch golf clubs and skis and snowboards. And it's like a little sporting goods shop in our tool shed in the backyard. And uh, so I guess my stuff was mixed in with all that. And since my dad had no use for it, he just got rid of it. So gave me an excuse to go out and blow some cash on a new pair of skis. Not really hardcore. I don't really care what kind of skis I've got as long as they're the right size and the bindings are the right tightness. So, that's really about all there is to say about my skiing experience. I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to plan on coming back tomorrow, so I'll probably try and catch some stuff at the half pipe if I can find it. And uh, maybe grab a few more jumps, maybe edit everything together into a sort of uh, more action-packed video. I wonder if they're shutting this lift down. There's no one on it.
place is all deserted all of a sudden. Maybe it's time to cue the spooky music. Well, I'm almost out of battery, so this is it. Signing off.